Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics 3 Tutor. And in this topic, uh, we're going to continue talking about capacitance, but since we've covered the theory sort of in the last section and, and the idea of what is a capacitor and how do you generally calculate the capacitance of a different, you know, different geometries, in this section we're going to tackle our problems and really begin to solidify what we've learned a little bit. So let's go right into it. The first problem says, you find that a 50 picofarad capacitor has a voltage of 0.15 volts across the terminals. How much charge exists on the plates of this capacitor? How much charge exists in the plates of the capacitor? So one of the main equations in this whole section dealing with capacitance is the charge on the terminals is equal to the capacitance times the voltage, or the voltage applied, the potential applied, right? So in this case, we're given everything. It's just that the only thing you really have to be careful about when they say picofarads, you always have to work in farads. So it's 50 times 10 to the minus 12, because 10 to the minus 12 is pico. And you're always going to want to deal in volts. And they give us volts, so we're just going to put 0.15. And so the charge there, when you multiply these two things together, is 7.5 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, minus 12 coulombs. And so, you know, if you wanted to, you could call that as 7.5 pico coulombs because pico is 10 to the minus 12. Pico is maybe one of these that you haven't used as much in basic physics, but like I said, a farad is a very large number, so you're going to be dealing with pico and, and uh, micro a lot of times. Okay, so simple. You take the capacitance and you multiply by the voltage applied. You know those two numbers, and that gives you the charge that that thing can, is capable of uh, storing, and, and, it, and it tells you the charge that's on the plates after you actually hook the battery up. All right, the next question basically says, we're gonna draw a little, sort of a little circuit. So let me switch colors here. And so we're going to have a capacitor in the circuit, like you might guess. And we're gonna have a little switch, just like we talked about. We're gonna have a battery, and the battery is gonna be hooked up like this, okay? And so what we're gonna have here, if the capacitance is 25 microfarads and it's initially uncharged and the switch is closed for a long time, how much charge will flow through the battery uh, if the battery provides 120 volts, 120 volts across the terminal's uh, potential difference? So basically what we have here is a battery and you have a certain voltage applied. Now when the switch is open, I mean there's no charge flowing anywhere because you know the switch is totally open and uh, there's no charge reservoir here or anything so nothing can actually flow. But as soon as you shut it, 